Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Spellforce 3, Soul Harvest. It is by Grimlore Games and THQ Nordic, and it releases today, May 28th, 2019. You guys can grab it. If you don't have the original Spellforce 3, this is supposed to be a standalone game, so if you wanted to start with this, I suppose you could. But I highly recommend you do check out Spellforce 3 as well, because it was fantastic from what I did play. And it's one of those games I've regretted not being able to return to yet. I still do plan to return to it, but for now we have a shiny new toy. And we are going to hop in and we're going to play it and we're going to have some fun. And we're going to see what it's all about and maybe it'll spark the flame that ignites my soul. Or makes me want to go back and play the original Spellforce 3. So, that being said, we're going to go with Solo. Oh, we have Solo, Co-op, and Mercenaries. What is that? What is Mercenaries? Oh, it tells us. Mercenaries are customizable heroes, just like your avatar. Once you have created a mercenary, you can take control of them when joining a friend's co-op campaign or recruit them to help you out in your solo adventures. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can create as many custom mercenaries as you want, but keep in mind that you will only be allowed to recruit up to two of them at once. Well, I... That's really cool. I don't think I'm going to do that yet. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe down the road we'll do that. But for now, let's just hop in and do solo. I'd like to do this co-op, but I don't know anyone else who has this game. Oh, look at that. Daedra's co-op session. Oh, you can have more than just... Oh, I'm curious. Let's just look. I, I don't oftentimes hop into a multiplayer game and check the settings and stuff. Unless I plan to do the multiplayer, but I know a lot of people are interested in that. And the fact that this has co-op is going to be an interest to a lot of people. So I'm very curious as to... As to uh, what it allows here. So let, let's just take a look. Let's see how many players you can have. Uh, let's see. So there is up to three players that you can have. Okay. So that makes sense. Which makes sense too with the mercenaries. You can bring up to two people with you of your own personal mercenaries. Control hero, control army, army production, and the economy. And I assume if other people joined, you'd be able to do the same. Well, there you go, guys and gals. You get to take a little peek into the multiplayer section of the game. I'm not going to create a mercenary right now, but we'll prob I might do it in the future, just so we have extra people. I don't know if we need to have that, but there you go. All right, so this is the main story campaign of Spellforce 3. I think I have to launch Spellforce 3 in order for that to pop up. It's very staticky and electrical. The scenario plays before the events of Spellforce 3's main campaign. Oh, very interesting. A new game, Soul Harvest. Two and a half years after the devastating Purity Wars, the Crown calls back a disgraced general to face a mysterious threat. I wonder where in the uh, timeline this one plays. We can't continue because we haven't played before, so I guess we're starting a new game, and we're going to go here. I'm going to go with normal because, well... It's, it's 44,447 SD. Oh. Two years ago, a cult called the Purity of Light devastated Nortender believing they would usher in the return of a benevolent god. A corporal named Tahar put an end to their doing. Your era, a former general of the Nortandian army. As you spent the past 12 years stationed in Imperia, a country far from your homeland, the purity wars passed you by. You don't mind. You had your own shadows to chase. All right, so this is apparently two years, is it two and a half? Two years after the, uh, I guess, the events of Spellforce 3. This is where it's at. But it looks like it's adjacent or in a different area than what went on in that general region. So, or in that general game. So, we'll, we'll see. Okay, we get to do character creation. I'm not going to spend a tremendously huge amount of time on it. We're just going to... Can we, can we hear the voice? I guess we don't have a choice. I'm going to be short, slightly taller... It's fine. Our head. Not a tremendous amount of uh, stuff we can do here. That's fine. Our haircut. Let's take a look. Let's go ponytail, because why not? Facial hair. I like it. Skin color. Whatever. It's fine. Okay. And we're going to do that. Uh, I'm fine with going whatever the uh, default is here, Ulrich. Or Ulrich Erev. Erev? Alright, select 
two ability trees for your avatar. This choice cannot be altered during the campaign, so please choose wisely. Each combination of trees grants you access to a unique synergy ability combining the aspects of both trees. Once you've selected your trees, assign your starting attributes. Every attribute has an effect on your character's strengths, such as their spell power, your health pool, or your critical hit chance. Well, that's interesting. So, custom. We can go with a Sanguine Knight, a Coercer. Well, that's interesting. A Shapeshifter. A Ranger, a Battle Mage, an Elementalist, a Keeper, an Inquisitor, a Priest... Coercer, Sanguine Knight, and then we could do custom. I don't know how we do custom, though. I guess we can, like, deselect one of these. And that puts us into custom. So, why don't we go full custom and see what we end up with. Alright, so we have combat arts, we have defensive arts, we have hunting, we have evocation, necromancy, light magic, demonology, druidism, and beguilement. I think I'm gonna go with druidism and maybe combat arts? Is that, is that okay? I feel like it should be fine. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know what that's going to make me, but... Sure, druids are versatile mages with access to a wide array of, array of spells, shapeshift into wild animals, mend wounds, and regrow resources. Alright, or unleash the wrath of nature upon your enemies. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to select that. I'm going to close this, and then we're going to go over here and we're going to get combat arts. And I don't know if that, like, makes us a specific thing or what. Combat arts are all about offense, master powerful perks to improve your weapon handling, learn techniques that allow you to hit several enemies at once, enter devastating battle frenzies, allowing you to cause havoc on the battlefield. Though a portion of this tree focuses on melee combat, many perks and abilities synergize strongly with mage and ranged builds. Alright, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, do I get to add perks? No. I'm going to accept. I guess I could have It's been three it years since you lost your regiment and the Imperian village. Well, that's not good. But the nightmares still haunt you. Night after night, you jolt awake, drenched in sweat, pulse hammering against your wrists. Even though your mind does its best to suppress and distort the memories, a part of you is aware that you probably deserve it. It's your fault. You know that much. But why? One day, you decide to see a Dreamweaver in hopes of finding an answer. Probably a bunch of hogwash. But the drowning will clutch at a straw. Okay. So, it was our fault, but we don't know why it was our fault? That, that's very confusing. It's okay. Uh, what, what is this? Where are we? In your dream, Erev, as I told you, you allowed me to enter it so that I can help you. Oh, cool. Wait, this is the desert? But it looks nothing like the real place. Because your mind is aware. This world is an interpretation of the events. To your dreaming self, it looks just like the real one. Now, tell me, what happened that day? But I told you, I can't remember. My memory, it's all foggy, warped. Even so, try. This is interesting. There was a battle. The Dawn Reaper orcs had been terrorizing Imperia for years. And this was Judgment Day. I was on my way to an outpost in the desert to meet my division. Oh, and it's dragging me off the screen. Okay. Select units with the left mouse button and move them around. Interact with the environment or NPCs by using the right mouse button. Uh, order them to attack everything in their chosen path by holding control and using the right mouse button. All right. Move in. This is where we'll make our stand. Okay, move the camera with the arrow keys or by moving the mouse to the edge of the screen. Rotating the camera by holding control plus middle mouse button. And moving the mouse around, zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Uh, let's see, to reset the camera's original rotation, press home. Alright, I got that. So, oh, I say, is there a way I can move with the mouse? There is, but I do not like that. Hold on. 
Alright, so if I if I hold control, I can rotate the camera. Alright, that's interesting. Keep it up. This way. Explore the dream. Over here. Well, there seems to be much going on. I'm just gonna this is control it. click. Interact with the world. Interact with your surroundings by clicking on objects of interest or NPCs with the right mouse of button. Alright. Go ahead. Hmm. What's this? Okay, apparently it is a tainted keystone. You received your first quest. You can read about its details in your quest log, which can be opened by pressing J. Important quest objectives will be marked on the minimap. Be wary. Not every quest is tracked in the quest log. Some are hidden in item descriptions and world interactions. Oh, well that's not great. Scratching the surface, it's been three years since you've lost your... Yeah, yeah, you said that one day you hope... Dare you decide? Yep, no, that's that's all stuff. Okay, insert the keystone into the portal socket. What does that mean? Is that this thing over here? Oh, it is. Uh... What are these? The portals? Anchor points. Every portal you traverse represents a step deeper down into your memory. That you were able to activate this one is a good sign. Is it? <laughs> I don't think I ever saw these in my normal dreams. As I said, this is because you're aware of the fact that you're dreaming. The portals are part of your mind's abstract representation of the events. Alright. I see. Guess we're going through the portal. Hmm. Badoom. To improve your heroes, press K to distribute abil ability and attribute points if available. Your ability bar grants you access to all of your character's abilities. Simply drag and drop abilities from your spellbook onto the bar, or into the bar, and rearrange them at will. You can swap between two ability bars by clicking and rotating the arrows, symbols on the left-hand side of the bar, or temporarily by holding down the toggle quick access bar temp button. <laughs> Which apparently we don't have queued up, I guess. Uh, so it was K. We have some ability points. Uh, we have druidism and we have close combatism. Uh, I guess we got to learn that first, so I will learn one from each. Your spells and abilities require less focus to cast. This seems like it's a perk and it's probably passive. That would be my guess. And then over here we have shapeshift into a cougar or a life bloom. Then we can have heavy strike, cleave. Which we may or may not be able to get, or pressure points. Increase all damage against humanoid creatures. I think I'm going to go with a shapeshift. And I think that's it for me. And we can drag this down somewhere. Oh, it's it's up there now. That's, that seems strange. Like, I'm, I'm fine with that. Really, the F buttons? Oh, because these are going to be for control groups. Ah, makes sense. Okay. Alright. What do you need? Explore the dream. Oh, Attack! we gotta defeat the creature. F1! Ah, I'm a cougar. Ooh. What are they? Powerful cougar. Symbols of your struggle. Just continue, General. Your memories will return the deeper you go. I see. Guardians, I still can't believe I'm awake in my own dream. Well, most people feel that way. It does seem apt. All right, you found some items. There are many different kinds of items. Some are equipment for your heroes, some are books and letters, while others have special purposes. You can check them in your inventory. Okay. Well, I know we got a bow, but like right now we we don't have any equipment oh, for cougar. I don't know how often we can go into cougar. That feels like that's a high amount of damage being in cougar form, in coog form. All right, we're going to insert this into this spot, and we're going to move on to the next. Uh, the click and fight menu can be a tremendous help in battle. Simply press and hold alt while hovering your cursor over an enemy or an ally to open it. Simply click on the ability you would like to use to cast it on the target. You found your first godstone. Is that thing, are they coming at me? No, they're not. 
Now, Godstones are magical anchor points that allow you to revive dead heroes. Also, they can be used to traverse map, the map by establishing teleportation portals between two Godstones you control. The neutral Godstones are claimed automatically once your hero enters the vicinity. Alright, time to go do some murder. Bloop! Bloop! And bloop! Guess stood no chance. Alright, we're gonna take all across the board. I feel like going cougar style with the Z is like cheating almost, because we're so much stronger than everything else. Alright. Turning in all of our tainted keystones. Going on to the next area. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Wait, I think I remember something. I went to some kind of shrine, and there was someone I was supposed to meet. Oh, yeah? Who? Remember, Erev. Who was it that you met there? Uh, a local, I think. A villager. Let me try to remember. Let me try to remember, friend. Alright, I guess we're just gonna go here. Control, middle mouse button. Hey, it's a force ghost. What's up? General Erev, that's you, isn't it? It might be. Yes. Are you the guide from Kaval? Yes. Taba. Taba Segewa. The mayor Segewa. said the orcs are headed for our village. Is that... is that true? A small horde, yes. But they won't arrive before nightfall, and we can handle them. My division and I are gonna protect you. Oh, Guardians. So it's true. Why, though? Why would they attack us? We're just a small village. I don't know. Maybe to stir up the rural population. Either way, Colonel Rickus, my second in command, is already on his way to the village to set up defenses. We'll stop by our outpost to gather the rest of my division. Follow me. Of course. Ah, uh, and General, I would like you to have this. It's a present from us, the people of Carvel. You know, as a token of thanks. Okay. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thanks. Upon completing a quest, you may often choose one or several items as a reward. Select a gift to proceed. Uh, okay. Uh, how do I... Oh, down there is close. Oh, kind of blended in. We get to select one. An Empyrean necklace because it's 50 health. We got five focus. An Empyrean ring. Or we can get the Empyrean charm, which gives us health back. And focus back. I think I'm gonna go with the Empyrean charm. What present? What did she mean? A charm. It was a charm, some kind of Empyrean rabbit's claw. Interesting. Oh, she's over here again. Do I talk to her again? Hope I can shove her off the mountain. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh, she's just running on up ahead. You've conquered a second godstone. To create a teleportation portal between two claimed godstones, select one of them and press the godstone travel button in its building menu. To establish a link, select the target stone on the pop up map and press confirm. When and how did I do these things? Oh, this is okay. Oh, down here. Okay. Couldn't I use the no? Okay. All right. Guess I'm I'm backtracking. Too. That's kind of neat, though. Okay, let's continue to explore the dream. I feel like we've done most of this stuff before. Is that another godstone? It is. Alright, well, we're just conquering all the godstones. One after another. What's going on over here? Look out! 
Don't worry, I'm in cougar form. I can kill everything in one shot because I'm super powerful. And that's the way it should be. These, these were dawn reapers. How can they be so close to the village already? Probably just a scouting troop. Let's push on. All right, onward we go. It's very interesting. General, there you are. We were starting to get worried. Mother? Kieran, what are you doing here? He's serving in my division. Oh, so you're the Nortandian general my son is always rhapsodizing about. I had no idea. Uh, mother. It's fine. Colonel, what's your status? Rick has already went ahead to the village, and we should follow as soon as possible. Well, we would be ready to leave, but there are two problems. First of all, we recently received a report from an Empyrean scout that conflicts with our own information. Apparently, the horde heading for Cavill is much larger than we thought. Uh-oh. It's probably not my place to say, but maybe we should ask General Karos for help? Hmm, no. Cavill's situated on a plateau, so it's easy to defend. But isn't it... What's the second problem? Well, there's a detail of orcs a couple of miles north from here. They're blocking the path to Cavill. Another scouting group, probably. All right. Let everyone know I'm taking command. Yes, sir. Oh, dear. Press N or use the build button at the bottom right of the screen to open your construction menu. Then click on a building's icon to place it anywhere in your sector. Buildings can be rotated by pressing and holding the left mouse button and then pressing the left, the left mouse button again to confirm the placement. Cool. Or the less. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the more RTS well, then, part of the... let me summarize. You were traveling with an Empyrean local named Tava, and were bound for her village, Cavill, which you suspected the orcs were going to attack that very night. Most of your troops were already there, and you were about to follow. Yes, and we had to take out an orcish scouting party to get there. Okay. That all makes sense. It all tracks. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to break it off here because we've taken, or we've made it to the part where the game where RTS kind of takes over and we're no longer just the one character. We're going to be able to start, like, creating units and all sorts of stuff. It's going to get a lot more crazy, chaotic, and hectic, and, well, a lot more fun, too, I, I dare say, uh, in the, uh, the coming episodes. So, if you guys are intrigued and you want to see more, go ahead and comment. Let me know your thoughts. Like I said, I always did want to return back to spell force three so i'm i'm willing to maybe do that if you guys like what you see here but we'll play around with this for a little while and we'll we'll see where it goes maybe we'll beat this first and then we'll go back and play the other one i don't know i do stuff out of order all the time there's no telling what could possibly happen anyway folks if you guys want more information about the game where to get the game information on the developer the publisher or any of that wonderful fun stuff it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature like it always is Again, comment, let me know your thoughts, guys and gals, and until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.